Well, CM got punked <laughs> by a gal tonight at UFC 203. And I always say to myself, I say, what's wrong with the UFC? Oh, they don't promote their talent. Ding, 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 ding. How many times have I said that? How many times have you seen people like Damian Maya, who should be promoted through the roof for what he's done is un unheard of and unprecedented in the sport? To be making a comeback this late in his career, that should be promoted. But yet, you see it on Fox Sports and barely spoke on. Then you have Anthony Rumble Johnson, who puts on one of the best fights, period, of the UFC as far as action. And you barely hear anything about it. They go straight into a, let's promote this Conor McGregor. Some crazy fighter who just cusses at people, throws bottles and cups and, yeah, yeah, why, yeah, you know, that's it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know what has happened to, to UFC. They represent MMA supposedly, but they're ruining the MMA's image. It's trash. And it's a disgrace to the other fighters that's on the card. Mickey Gal is not that good. CM Punk had no business being in the ring. A guy who has no fighting background whatsoever. Clearly named for name recognition. You sign him to a multi-fight, multi-million dollar deal. How stupid can you be? All of this is just to sell tickets. And I blame you, the fans. Y'all pay for it. Y'all stupid enough to pay to watch that. So if that's what you want to see, freak shows, instead of the best fighters fighting each other, then that's what you stay with. You stay with that garbage UFC. Because what they're doing is giving you trash and you're accepting it. You should be disgraced. You should have written to Dana White. You should have complained and said, this is a disgrace. What are you trying to do here? How many more WWE experiments or names that you want to try to shove in front of us? Because you don't know how to promote talent. You don't know how to match make. The people want the fights. Make the fights and the people will come. Isn't that what you guys said? Well, you have seen with the best fight the best. Really? Because I've been seeing Brock Lesnar. What's next? The Undertaker coming in there? Kane? The Heartbreak Kid? Shawn Michaels going to be in there next? Going to be, oh, he's firing up some old chin music. It's, it's ridiculous. But I blame the fans of the UFC. They know you're stupid. And most of you guys are drunk and on drugs. So they say, well, hey, these drunk on drugs, idiots who listen to the let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. They know y'all are so whacked out of y'all minds on drugs. You're not paying attention to anything that's happening. And you're just watching one guy hit it the next guy. So let's get a guy that's already been marketed and promoted in a whole nother sports entertainment field of wrestling. And throw them in a the ring. They try to do it with old retired boxers like James Tony and some other ones. But it's too dangerous because boxers have a lot of experience. And they could mess around and really hurt one of your little UFC fighters. So that, that thing went down the drain. Plus you guys don't pay good enough. Now. What's next? Who cares? <laughs> Bellator is what's next. If you want to go and have a real MMA fight or something, go over to Bellator or something because this is a joke. I mean, really, this is a joke. It's sad. It's really sad that this is what MMA has come to. You guys are disappearing like, like how online poker was the, the big thing around the world at that time. It had that fever to the government came down and put a, 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 a stop to it. And slowed it down, then poker went back into the shadows, right? That's exactly where UFC's headed. <laughs> when Dana White and them sold out, you guys did the right thing. Get cake out on it while you can because it's a dying fad. 
pretty soon it's gonna go down to well the real fighters fighting the real fighters and then that's when it'll be interest, interesting again where people can report on it and talk about it because right now it's just a joke UFC 203 was a complete joke and you fans who went and supported it ate it all up for 20 months this guy thought he could learn how to fight a guy who's never been punched in the face before by a professional MMA fighter. 20 months and thought he'd be ready to go in there and say, I've been doing this for 20 months. So I'm ready. No. Brother, you got to train for years to be a fighter. Years. It don't happen overnight. Either you're a fighter or you're not a fighter. And you're not a fighter. You're an actor. You're a performer. You're in sports entertainment. And now you're going into full contact sports. One blow and you're going to be looking to pack it in. And that's what he did tonight. He packed it in. But he got paid. So congratulations. <laughs> and guess what? The UFC going to stick him right back in the ring and throw him right back in y'all face and say, pay us money because y'all stupid enough to pay. That's the money. That's the flaw.